they have to play the tempo, right? And they're playing the tempo into the tide. So if the tide has a decent lane, you might find yourself crushed into the water melon. But I think we're close enough for the colors. Uh, but this is uh, into a rubik into. Uh, usually for Roshan, Dyer is better because of the outpost. It's very close to Roche, and uh, Gradient can be better if you get the outpost later on in game. But Dyer is technically better because of it. See, he Just likes Dyer. Ones. Dyer. Now, we've seen him on range carries a lot. Feels like it's definitely his niche in uh, games they lose. They're usually not on range carries. Comes back on the TA2000. The artist formerly known as Naive will go down to 33 as they pull him back with that level one glimpse. Gory is going to be able to run away with he's also not dead. having the glimpse, but now that he's level two, they do have the kinetic field, and that means the running stops and 33 gets a double kill. That was uh, very naive on the priority range. of the disruptors that we've been seeing. And kinetic field is up. 33 still running in with that Malefice, and we don't exactly have a lot of items. Only three for the moment, but TA2000 is in trouble going back down. South is Glory. No, Glory is dead. If he gets Arcane body blocked, yeah, this is multi one shot. More shot. Three, ooh, dying to Glory. So that's a lot of gold for him. But nine shows up, gets killed on the TA2000. It looks over at the Silencer. Last word and the last right click for nine as he gets a double kill while ending up to trade this Enigma. Done slightly better. He did shut down this Tide Hunter because he is the lowest network core. Global silence immediately, as expected. Yeah, they're trying to get the kill here on the nine. And they'll go over to the side. They've got the Static Storm down from Sox, who's on the low ground. Real okay, back. Eight, nine out. Got the glimpse again, pulling it back. They want to take stack. a fight. It's just global silence that they need to be aware of. Uh, Ravage, if he's not there, Omar. He seems to be the one who's been tanking these ganks, which. Honestly, isn't the worst thing in the world. He'll go down, Nuke turns this and gets the Dream Coil on the That's two. That's a big one. Last time they were able to escape with the relocate, but this time they might not be so fortunate. Gus comes in with a rabbit. Eclipse Storm. And Storm's gonna die too. Snaking and Nine both fall. Ooh, 33, the damage. He's gonna die. Witchblade kills him in the base. Really know what you do to escape. And it's got about half the duration of the stolen cooldown on it. Static Storm committed with the kinetic field up. Again, they'll go for the Tide. Can they kill him off? He walks out, glimpses back. BKB's been popping. They're committing. Scare. They're committing. He had Ravage if he wanted to throw it. There was still the BKB going from Skitter, but maybe could have got the rest. They'll go up to 33 and trade off laners. In the fight and silence, thanks to the Orchid coming out from nine. They go to the global and will force Tundra back. As they're retreating, they'll go and throw down that Dream Coil. Right click, Skitter with no BKB. He'll fall. And they've gotten themselves two on the side of Order Thunders with a. Soxa Disruptor. No glimpse. Nearby. He looks very dead as well here. Well, Lightning, Nine, Orchid, Vortex might take out Noob, will take out Noob. They were in on this one and did not want to give up the fight despite the fact that they lost 33 and Skitter very early. Rest of OT did not follow it up. Puck decides to go in. He was also like slightly careful about it, but rest of the team not there to back him up. And we see the... Okay, another glimpse. glimpse. This fight's still not over. Yeah, ball lightning back into the fight. Oh, Gus, the silence. Oh, nine, he's in trouble. One more right click. Don't get it. Three there, black hole. Him. That's going to be not enough damage. It's a good black hole, but they didn't have nine to follow it up. Omar's going to die to Saxa, but 33 is going to be dead again. They go to the mech from Weeder, and Skinner comes in. KB not going to be available as the Ravage comes out. He helped it after he died the first time in this uh, fight. No, Skitter is in trouble. No BKB. The right they get the Kona Snake King. They'll take out Skitter. And Sox is going to fall. A triple kill for TA2000. Tundra, they thought that they have what it takes to this take gonna another It's going to be a very fight. difficult fight. If TA2000 is in a good spot, gets double multi-shot in a fight, I'm really worried. He also has, of course, that Smoke shark. immediately broken. BKB gets popped to turn this. The ball landing onto the back lines. They'll find Omar. Static Storm committed, but the Tide's not taking any damage, and they still have... No, no longer. Look, took the head Omar for a moment. The Dream Coil's gonna be on a three. It'll snap on two. 33 in a bad spot as the Ravage comes Only in and hits on the edge. But can he turn around and get the Black Hole off? They don't really want to look like they can throw it because they've got the silence from the Global out from Kaori. They'll take out they nine. Skip to try and fight. Yeah, Hurricane 2, flying, Soxa, snaking, relocate. Wolf gets out, but Skitter's not going to be so fortunate if they could stick on him. Lose Reorb with the jaunt over, and then Skitter will fall to Noob, and they'll wait for the relocate back. 
very difficult game for Enigma. There's so many tools that can stop the black hole. You're also playing into Rubik level 16. He's been farming with Ayo, so a bit under leveled. 33. Gusted, and well, there's the Guardian Greaves. Ball lightning from Omar. And they'll still catch 33 and get the kill. This time he's not going to be able to cut the creep wave like he'd like, as there's that dire obs that was sitting there. Noob also finds Skitter. They've got the silence. He doesn't have a BKB. It's just happened top, and he had to use BKB before. So they will get both kills, and they will not have buyback on raids. Last Looking time when them he in. showed up, they decided to go for Roche. So let's see if they decide to do the same thing again. Snaking will go inside the pit. Does have buyback. How many buybacks do we have right now? Six at the moment. So they'll move forward. 33 over to the side. They go to the Ravage. BKB's going to be popped by 33. They've got the Black Hole, but they, immediately the Global Silence comes out. They get the kill in a the nine. They'll take one. him away. The Black Hole thrown out from Omar right on Skitter. They'll take out a second. Both heroes don't have buyback, and 33 may be feeling pressure to throw that black hole out immediately, as he's going to be leashed up thanks to the Dream Coil of Noob, and they've got all three cores out of the fight. He, If he wants to jump like this, he needs to catch Silencer plus one. Otherwise, it's not working, and then still, there is counterplay, Rubik. Soxa hexed up, Arcane cursed, and should die, inevitably. They also get Roche and yeah, for 10. Razor does have a BKB available in a second. Seems like they're not gonna stop. TA 2000, Butterfly Boy, is done. Vortex, Gus, nine is in trouble. They'll go to the Guardian Greaves. They've got the Global Silence once again. And now, Tendrils of the Deep puts them both into the air. They get the kill on a nine. And now they'll go over at Skidder, who's gonna pop the BKB and fight TA 2000. He's got a second life to work with, so it doesn't even matter if you get the first kill. They take out Skidder, both these heroes die oh, again. The 33, he used Soxa, BKB. And they will they, get the they kill, will call the it. GG, and Ordu Thunders take game one over Tundra. This team is so good. I love watching this team play Dota. They're a bit different uh, than the exciting. other teams, but they are very excited.